Do you ever feel like you're wasting time by creating a calendar invite, creating a Zoom link, having a copy and paste from Zoom into your calendar invite, and then invite people to your Zoom meeting? Well, I have good news for you. There is an integration that you can do with your Zoom account and your Google account to automate that and just make it so much easier. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how you can actually integrate this into your processes when you're setting up meetings in your calendar, and this is gonna save you so much time. Now, before we get into it, I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and this week's video was inspired by a video I did a couple weeks ago that I will link to above that is all about three automations that just changed the way I work as a business owner. Because whether you own your own business or you work for someone else, time is money, and anything you can do to help you save some time is literally like money back into your pocket or energy back into your energy resources so you can do more things. So I'm always a big fan of anything that's gonna automate or help me save time. And this one, I promise you, saved me so much time <laughs> because the number of times that I had to copy and paste from Zoom to Google and it just drove me crazy. And now there is an integration that allows you with a single click to create a Zoom meeting. It automatically puts it in the invite, automatically puts it on your Zoom account, and you have to do nothing. So let me walk you through exactly how to do so before I show you how to do that on your Zoom account, I do wanna say caveats here, you do have to have a Zoom account to be able to do this. And this integration specifically is walking you through how to integrate with your Google Calendar. Now, maybe you're someone who uses Outlook or uses something else for your calendar needs, and I believe there's other options out there, and I will link them down in my notes here in the description if I find them, but I'm a big Google Calendar person. And the beauty of this is me as the organizer is a Google Calendar person, but when I utilize this functionality, it will do it for anyone, any of my guests who are on, if they use Outlook or whatever they use for their calendar integrations, it will still show them the Zoom link. I'm just not familiar with how I would do that as the organizer for other things other than Google. All right, so I'm gonna link to this where it says Zoom for G Suite add-on, so you can actually walk through this yourself, but if you're someone who's auditory, I'm gonna talk you through it as well. And so one of the great things that this does is it enables you when you're scheduling a meeting, let me see if I wanna create a meeting, it'll allow me to actually see an option here that says make it a Zoom meeting. And so the cool part with here is if I click that, it automatically will create the link in my Zoom, it creates the link here in the invite, and so it doesn't just default. Maybe if you're, you haven't done this integration before, you will just see the add Google Meet option to your meeting. But so what I do, I say test meeting. Let's say I wanna make it a Zoom meeting. You click make it a Zoom. You can see here it automatically put a Zoom link right here in my account. It automatically put it down here as well in the description, which I love because I found sometimes it's obvious when it's in the location link, but other times not so much. So it's helpful to have it here in the description as well as all the dial-ins. And I hit save and boom, it's created a Zoom link. Now. You can see here, it's also, look at this, Google always innovating, they have meeting notes, but right there, if I wanna start that meeting, it's as easy as click, clicking join Zoom meeting. If I click that, and it will automatically log me in as me, which is great. But you can see here, up here it already, it automatically made the meeting, the title of my meeting that I wrote in Google Calendar, which I think is amazing, has all of the same information here. So I didn't have to type test meeting in my, in my calendar and then test meeting in Zoom and copy and paste, it does it all. So that's just to show you what it looks like when it's successfully integrated. But let's say you're starting from square one. So you're gonna follow here and you need to actually install this Zoom for G Suite um, login. And so if you click install, um, it'll need your permission. And what it will do is it actually is going to ask you for your Zoom login. And so let's say I'm going to connect it to my other email that I utilize sometimes. And so now it's going to ask you for all these permissions, if it can schedule calendar, if it can download, run it as an add-on. I trust Zoom. So this is my other calendar, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to schedule an event. And you're going to see now it says, sometimes, again, I found, depending on the view that you're in, it's either going to show it right where it shows you the Google Meet, or I see it sometimes down here as make it a Zoom meeting save. Now, one nuance I have found with this integration is say I invite um, another person. So let's just say like my other email, I've invited us. For me to make it a Zoom meeting, that is the equivalent of hitting save. So if I may say make it a Zoom meeting, it's gonna 
create it and it's going to have come up with this pop-up that says do you want to send invitation emails to google calendar guests you can hit send and it will send this invite if you hit don't send just be aware that then it has not sent it it has not sent this invite to any of your guests. So often when I am scheduling a meeting invite and I'm utilizing this integration with, between Zoom and Gmail, I will actually wait until I'm ready to send that invite, add all the people, add any notes I want, and then I will make it a Zoom meeting and then I'll just hit send. So it's all in one step. One of the things that I found that maybe isn't so efficient of this is if you accidentally then try to recreate it as a Zoom meeting, you'll then accidentally create two links and it just adds some confusion. But yeah, so that's how you can see it has my test Zoom meeting. It's already here on my calendar. My Zoom links are populated. We'll just pull up my, my Zoom account here and you can see, look, my Zoom meeting that I just created, boom, already in here. And then you can also see here my test meeting, boom, already created and already in my Zoom account. And so that's the Zoom integration with your Google Cal, with your Gmail. And I love this because I think it just saves so much time. And like I said, time is money. And so it's just really important to figure out ways that you can be more efficient. So what are some automations that are making you happy? Feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'm always looking to be more efficient. This is just one for those of you who are living in Zoom. I promise you it's going to save you so much time. One more pro tip I'll give you is because Google has its own video conferencing system of Google Meets, Google Hangout, they will often try to auto integrate a link for your Google Meets whenever you create a video a video call like this. So you sometimes will have a Zoom link and a Google Meet link. And so that's just something I'll always, I try to like at the end of one week, comb through my invites from the next week just to make sure it didn't auto populate. They are getting better at not doing this, but I get it why Google does it. They want you to use their service and not Zoom, but this integration still saves you so much time with creating Zoom links and needing to cross populate the title of the meeting and certain information that just it's redundant. So I'm very happy for this plugin that helps you save time when you're scheduling a Zoom meeting in your Google Calendar. That's all I have for you folks. I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer. This has been another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event planning, Zoom, virtual production, in-person production, and running your own business. And I look forward to being in your feeds again next Monday. Bye folks.